Welcome. You're watching a physics show video. In the physics show, we broke a wine glass with sound. We sent in sound at the exact right frequency, the resonant frequency, to shake the glass. We do this every day in our kitchens. We use microwaves at the resonant frequency of water molecules to shake them to heat our food. What is the resonant frequency of water molecules? The back of your microwave tells you. In the physics show, we also showed you standing waves, where waves interfered with themselves to form patterns. We called the places where the waves canceled nodes and where they added antinodes. A half wavelength is the distance between two nodes or two antinodes. Can we see that in a microwave oven? First, take out the rotating plate. This moves the food through the nodes and antinodes in the standing wave in your microwave oven. Now, put in a chocolate bar and cook it for about 15 seconds. The soft spots are where the antinodes are. That's where our food gets heated. We can use this to measure the size of our standing wave. We also learn the relationship between wavelength and speed. Wavelength times frequency is equal to speed. We can plug in the numbers and we'll get the speed of light. 